which might intersect with your work. Um, and then Iman, who is over here, who's on uh, the board of directors for Public Lab, um, and is also an activist that works at the Gowanus Canal with the Gowanus Canal Conservancy, is going to talk a bit about some of the research questions we came up brainstorming. Uh, Oscar here, who has done mapping with the Occupy protests um, in New York, um, is going to talk a bit about his work. And then Jen, who's also mapping with New York, um, is going to share a bit. Um, and we're going to do it very quickly. It's going to probably be quicker than what I just said in, you know, a minute. So, is everyone able to hear? I know. If not, come really close. That's why I'm very good. You can hear me? Very good. <laughs> Just in time for um, Okay, so Public Lab, uh, there's seven of us that started it. Um, I'm actually, I'm not from New York. Um, I'm from New Orleans. We have Sarah here who also works with me. Um, and she works out of Providence. Um, and what we do is we design and build uh, do-it-yourself, low-cost environmental monitoring tools. The first one of them being what we're going to work with today, which is aerial mapping. Um, our first large project was around mapping the BP oil spill. Um, over time and place as the oil was coming in on the Gulf Coast um, so that we could look at coastal changes, we could look at movement in the wetlands, um, how grasses were regressing um, to watch the oil coming in. So it was also about movement but in a different way than y'all are thinking about it. Um, so that's the first tool we have. Since then we've developed uh, tools such as an infrared camera, spectrometer, uh, a thermal flashlight, um, hydrogen sulfide sensing for gas patch communities. Um, so we work mainly at sites of extraction uh, where there's environmental pollutants. In New York, we primarily work at the Guanas Canal, which is uh, a designated EPA Superfund site, and I'm sure Iman can mention a bit more about that. Um, yeah, and so if you have questions, you know, I'm here, you can feel free to ask me as we go, but just wanted to give you kind of a general idea. Um, the other thing about it I want to mention quick is that we also work uh, in open source models. Has anybody heard of open source? Okay, and so we also take that to our hardware. What is that? Um, so open source, it started as uh, coding online, where you would just basically, you had your code and you would open it up so people could build on top of it. Um, and we've done that with our hardware. So all of our designs, they go online, people have to post research notes so that people can build off of it. And this really um, helps us to create kind of unanticipated directions with how our tools go. So um, that's really important for us, you know, uh, as we progress and as our community grows. So. Yeah, so if you guys are developing uses for the mapping, the balloons, and movement practice, we'd love to hear back at Public Lab. You can document your work there. We can help you post photos of your work. We can help you post videos. Um, and there's free how-to kits that you can order your own balloon kit through us, or we can show you where to buy the individual parts. So if you're interested in following up with us, just catch Shannon or I, or go to publiclaboratory.org, and you can find out, you know, 